What's up everyone, Sinistrans here, one back at you with more Medal of Honor campaign complete. It is time to move on to the multiplayer. Hope you guys enjoyed the campaign as much as I did. I know a lot of reviews out there aren't giving it very good scores, but I, uh, being a military person myself, uh, I think it was a great game. Um, I wasn't looking for the game to add to, you know, uh, all the 13,000 other first person shooters and to, to bring the first person shooter, you know, genre forward. I was looking for something that was entertaining, something that was heartfelt, and that's exactly what I received. So I'm very happy that I purchased Medal of Honor and I don't give a crap what those reviewers out there say. Uh, hopefully you guys feel the same. Judge the game based off of what you saw, not of what, um, you know, people that uh, yeah, just don't care for this kind of uh, emotional story and think that it's just stupid. I, for one, thought it was perfect. So let's get into the multiplayer. You guys know that I already played uh, the beta, but now we're obviously going to have a, a few more open maps and stuff like that to play. And uh, actually looking very forward to uh, playing this multiplayer. I enjoyed the beta very much. I thought it was really cool. I thought the, the guns felt great. Uh, the maps were nice. They were huge, especially, you know, just that one beta map that we had. And the customization options seemed really well um, put, too. But the only problem that I had with the beta was... Um, how like open and how hard it was to kind of navigate the menus now I'm sure that within the amount of time the beta came out the game was already gold so uh, I'm probably nothing not too much has changed since then but hopefully um, it won't be too confusing uh, for you guys as well as me that's, a, that's what I'm hoping so let's see uh, obviously since I'm USA we've got three choices to choose from we got the OGA assaulter the Navy SEAL assaulter and the Special Forces Assaulter. I'm gonna go with the Special Forces since I am Army and Special Forces is Army whereas uh, SEAL is Navy obviously uh, and OGA is kind of more I guess a uh, pri private military group or something like that. Definitely not affiliated with any official military at least to my knowledge. So uh, I think that should be good to go. Alright this count isn't set up on battle log. Would you like to view and share your data? Eh, why not? You guys can check out see some of my stats and stuff on there. I've never really used it before, so it's kind of a, you know, be something new. Alright. Uh, so they do have, I guess, double XP weekends and stuff like that. And one thing that I apologize is I forgot to put my status to busy, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Because we don't want no annoying things coming up while we're playing. Alright, let's do it. You guys can read that. Uh, lots of good party systems in this game. Um, pretty much you're in teams of two, so you got to really work together when you're playing multiplayer, uh, which definitely brings a little bit more um, kind of uh, a little bit more of a challenge. You know, you got to work with a, a person. You got to save them when you need them. You got to spawn on each other. It really helps out and actually gives you points for stuff that they do and, and vice versa. And I think that that's really cool. So. Um, Let's just go ahead and I'm not really into all this stuff right here. Not right now. I just want to kind of get into it and play a little bit. So as you can see, there's still a lot of stuff on here to look at and a lot of things to do. Um, let's see. It looks like we can select what weapon we have. Uh, as of right now, it looks like we only have really one weapon open to us. Which we already have that pretty much... Uh, but we can customize it a little bit. What do we have available? Everything is pretty much locked. Yeah, everything is pretty much locked right now, so we're definitely going to need to uh, work on that, of course. Alright, so I think we're good. Uh, let's see. It pretty much has selected whatever we needed to have. Once we play a little bit more, we're going to rank up. We're going to be able to get some more awesome stuff. Now I will say that I'm definitely a fan of the Call of Duty multiplayer. Not because um, I like Call of Duty more. Obviously I probably like uh, Medal of Honor story-wise and, and shooting and all that kind of stuff better. But when I'm playing multiplayer, you know, depending on what I want, I want it to be more of a fun thing to play with friends and stuff like that. When I play the single player, I like the tacticalness of doing it for real. But when I'm playing multiplayer, I want to have fun, I want to enjoy it. And Call of Duty definitely knows how to do that at least. Um, the only problem is that they just stay the same every single year. They don't improve, they don't change. And that was really the only thing that kept me um, from loving Call of Duty as much as maybe everyone else does. 
Uh, let's see what else. Okay, so it looks like uh, lots more things that we need to actually unlock. Spec Ops, Assaulter, Sniper. I'm gonna go with Sniper. Yeah. Definitely more of a sniper now. I think in recent recent years I've been kind of uh, made my way into sniper territory since it's more stealthier and the stealth genre has really blown itself up. I kind of like it like it a lot more. I like it a lot. So without me uh, rambling on too much, we're gonna go ahead and get into a game. Uh, I haven't played a game yet, as you can see. No recent server, no nothing. I haven't done anything yet. Let's. Uh, we've already read that introduction. So, what do you say we get into this and actually play? So, let's find a game here. Uh, let's check the look at the server browser, see what, what we actually have open. So, there are official uh, US server browsers and all that kind of stuff. I'd like to get in a game that hasn't started yet. I don't know really how you would do that. Let's see, we can edit filter. So, I'm going to start out with a little team deathmatch, you know, just get things going. Uh, any map will do fine. Free slots, party fits, empty. I don't know what really that means. Alright, so I think that'll do it. Alright, we'll just pick one here. And let's play some Medal of Honor. No editing, whatever I do, I do pretty much. Uh, I'm not worried about, you know, having the best gameplay or whatever like that out there. At least for this first game, first couple of games. I am going to try to put out a few videos and whatnot of multiplayer. I want to try all the different aspects of multiplayer. So hopefully you guys will enjoy and hopefully I won't suck too much. Hopefully it'll be fun. Let's see, deathmatch. Two teams battle out to the death. The first team to get 75 kills wins. Looks like we're doing this on Shogor Valley. So this definitely doesn't look like a map that we had played in the beta, so that'll be fun. Kind of new. Alright, so as you can see, it just pretty much took me right into the middle of a game. Alright, so let's do this. Kill the enemy team. To get the, uh... Not much of a, uh, not much of a scope on this thing. Hard to tell where it is. Okay, now I see. Oh, I hear a rocket coming. Okay, so sniper obviously is is meant to uh, stay in the back, but when you're moving up or whatever, it's best to you know. I think you can still move. I'm not sure. Here we go, first kill. And that's really cool. Just the leaning function helps so much in a game like this. Okay, so there's a guy coming up. Ah, uh, nah, he was ready for me. He was behind me. He saw me or whatever, so that's all right. I don't see where my buddy is. I don't even know if I have a buddy. We're gonna be overrun. Our window's closing. All right. So good note is too when you're playing a sniper class when you're moving about. What? <laughs> wow! What a game, ladies and gentlemen. So I went one and one, and of course I didn't have a buddy either, so... Um, wow! So obviously that's not going to be it to this video, we're going to keep going. Uh, hopefully now I can actually get into a, uh, a full game here. So that was just kind of a little sneak peek as to uh, what's going to happen here. So we got some good points, finished one and one or whatever, it's, at least I wasn't negative. That's all I cared about. However, I didn't like the... Um, didn't like the sight for the sniper rifle. I don't like that little circle dot. I prefer something a little bit, uh, a little easier to follow. Something with like just a dot would have been, you know, significantly better. 
night. And they obviously had more teams than us too, it looked like. And we still won. <laughs> Alright, so we're just waiting here for the next round and hopefully this will be a little bit uh, more entertaining for you guys. T minus one. Let's do it. It's go time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This is our second match. Uh, the first one lasted about two minutes. And this should be a good, nice, full-sized match. And it looks like we have a buddy, buddy team system here, so it's going to work out even better. It's go time. Right behind you. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stick. Yeah, I don't have a... Uh, I don't have a weapon. Okay, where is my weapon? <laughs> do you see me not having a weapon right now? I can't do a. I can't do anything. Um, I am a little confused. Okay, there's people right here. I can't. You've got to be kidding me. So that's how you're gonna send me into the game the very first time you want someone to come into a game. You're gonna send into me without even being able to spawn a weapon. And I still don't have a weapon, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so this isn't boasting good for my hopes for liking uh, Modern Warfare, or excuse me, Medal of Honor over uh, Modern Warfare. Never once did I ever go into a match without a weapon. Alright, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Alright, so I'm going to have to do what I have to do. I'm going to have to quit. I usually am not one to quit on a game. And I normally would probably edit this out so you guys can see actual good gameplay or whatever. I ain't going to edit this shit out. No, you're seeing what you're actually seeing. I started that match without a weapon and it would not equip, so... Not a very good start for Medal of Honor uh, multiplayer. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so believe it or not, the game uh, froze on me. It uh, pretty much just stayed on the black screen that you saw right there. I had to actually, uh, you know, shut down the game and then uh, restart it and whatnot. So, <laughs> so far, not a very good beginning to uh, online for Medal of Honor. Hopefully, we're going to be able to redeem it right here. We're going to go into a, a quick match, whatever. Um, team deathmatch again, because that's what I wanted. Uh, we might be joining, you know, the middle of a game again, whatever. Um, there should be a system that lets you join the beginning before a game actually starts up, but it doesn't look like there is one. So I'm kind of iffy about all things Medal of Honor as far as multiplayer goes right now. And uh, hopefully this, uh, this match that I'm going into right here which I believe actually uh, may be um, the demo, or should I say the beta map, it looks like. But hopefully we're still going to have some fun, and uh, let's do it. I still have faith in you, Medal of Honor. Come on, don't let me down. Alright, sweet. It's at the beginning of a match. Alright, here we go. We're gonna do it this time. Alright. Unfortunately, we are on that same exact map that we did for the multiplayer beta. Are we? Oh, what the heck? Looks like they got him. Actually, this does look a little different. Maybe it is not the exact same. Okay, looks like this is an automatic weapon. So don't be confused. I was shooting it as if it was not an automatic, but it is. Alright, looks like this is a good spot. Ah! 
Just missed him. <sighs> Actually, I really do like this spot. Let's get out of here. Since we are snipers, we need to be in a location where sniping is pretty much what you <laughs> expect. So we need to get into a place where we're a good distance away from everybody. You can see right there. Got him. Took me a while there. See, I, I don't like this little... I don't like that little dot. It's too big for me. I like a smaller, uh, precise kind of uh, dot to use when I'm playing. What really cool is the fact that you can lean out like that. I absolutely love that. Enemy UAV overhead. They're in the open. I'm on the other six. I got the cover. Alright, I don't know what I did, but I just got a random. I'm gonna look at it too, even during multiplayer. Me. Use your fire team buddy to rearm or heal. Okay. Ah. Idiot. Always gotta look to your left and your right, people. Good to go. Ah, uh, he had an automatic, I had a pistol. No problem. Respawn on my buddy here. Ah, uh, that's the only thing I don't like about games like this is spawning is just always going to be horrible no matter what you do. Oh, my buddy just left me. And he's dead. Okay, oh come on, I was... Oh. I'm trying not to get frustrated, but I'm already got that whole frustration from the beginning of the game. At least we're not losing by too much. Now I'll be doing different classes. I'm just trying out each class right now. Not always going to be the sniper. Wait, this is the same exact map. Except we can't go out this way this time. That's the only difference. See how it's blocked off? So it's the same map, it's just um, it's a shorter version or it, it goes the opposite direction, should I say. It's kind of unique and weird. Let's do this. I just saw a red dot coming up behind me. So he's below. Uh, did I at least get one? Alright, I got one. I see, I don't like games where I have to pretty much rely on my pistol when I want to use my sniper rifle, but it doesn't look like there's an opening in this level to really, uh, showcase the sniper rifle. We're too many clothes right now, too many small areas. Hostile UAV active. A proximity mine, so that's really cool. What? Must have been someone else throwing that. There's, did he kill me? He was like getting his ass kicked when he killed me. I don't know how. Little proximity right here.
You have, too, you have to press too many buttons just to see how good you're doing. And then you can't even get out of here by pressing B. Yeah, the menu system definitely needs some work. Definitely not a sniper's paradise right here. Let's see. Oh, this sniper rifle does not have the range. Enemy UAV is active. So I can't even get out of here. It's like one side of the map and then another side of the map. That's pretty much it. Got him. Sweet, unlock the grenade launcher. Alright, so that just tells me how to use it. We have air transport close to the contact. Oh, you got lucky. Damn it. I paid attention to that. It looked like he uh, threw a C4 or something like that over there. So way too much is going on right now. And then it's over. So I'm up in the air right now about the uh, finished multiplayer product. I know this is just Team Deathmatch, but that was definitely not a map that you just wanted to have a sniper on. As you can see, I only got 5 and 6. And some of those kills were just ridiculous. Um, let's see, there should be... Well, at least I leveled up, so now I'm a Private 2, second class. Shows you some awards and stuff I got, and obviously my scoreboard. Now, what would have been really cool is the ability to change uh, your situation. Right now is when I would want to go through my weapons, change something up a little bit, maybe add that grenade launcher while I have this 26 seconds left. But it doesn't look like you can do that until the game is already started, and it doesn't really give you much in the beginning of that to do it, so you actually have to exit the game, which that doesn't really make too much sense to me. Uh, we're gonna keep going and uh, play another match. Um, hopefully this next match will be uh, will be fun and it won't be uh, worthless like the other one. <laughs> Let's do it.